Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always we're joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to be doing a raspberry and peach cobbler. crisp. Cobbler yeah. crisp. crisp. It was crisp. supposed to be a crisp, it's going to be a cobbler due to the lovely weather we're having here in the Lake District it's today. always like this. Yeah, never rains in the Lake District. No. So Richard, talk us through what we've prepped here. So in the dish here, we've got our peaches chopped down, nice and chunky, because we want these to, they are going to soften, but if you um, if we keep them nice and large to begin with, help them just uh, keep a little bit of texture. Then we've got our raspberries, we've got some plain flour, some granulated sugar, and a good liberal pinch of cinnamon. This is an American recipe after all, so there's a lot, quite a bit of cinnamon in here. Uh, then in the dish here, we have our soft brown sugar with some butter that's at room temperature, it was at room temperature, um, and this is meant to go like a crumble topping, so it's meant to go all rubbly on the top. But even with fridge temperature butter, this just went to more like a dough. So we've got, uh, it would work fine at home if you were in normal temperatures. So you've got soft brown sugar, butter, and some shortbread biscuits just crumbled up. So this is a really simple thing. Once you've done this, it's just a case of slide these ingredients into our skillet pan. Oops come back there we go I'll give you that and I'll just reach for one of those towels under there and then with our mixture <laughs> as I say if this was if this was proper crumble crisp topping uh, you would just simply scatter this on but the quintessential weather in the summer in the Lake District is, is just wreaking havoc with our baking today this, this so. is the second attempt but we just gave up so we're just gonna dot this on the top um, and it will go a little bit crisp. The sugar will obviously caramelise. And uh, it'll just self level a little bit and just give us some, there'll be some nice gooey, bubbly juices from the peaches and the raspberries coming through, the jamminess, um, and in between those little nuggets of crispy topping mixture there. So. And try not to put this too close to the edge because I know it will kind of slide down a little bit and if uh, the, once the cast iron gets hot I don't want it to catch too much so I'm just kind of putting that leaving a little bit of a board around the edge but it will it will self level there we go and now we are ready to go thank, thank you very much don't okay. steal my job <laughs> so on the barbecue we've got this set up for 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees C uh, with the tray, it's all indirect. I'm just going to pop that on the middle shelf. If you've got one of the Bronsons or the Pro Series, just pop it on the middle of the uh, on the middle of the cooking grate and pop the lid down. It will work just fine. With this on, because we've got those extra shelves, I've just gone right in the middle, so we get even bake all the way around. I'm going to leave that for about 45 minutes, and we'll come back and check it when it's all bubbly and gooey and nice and crispy on the top. So we're back with our raspberry and peach crisp. crisp. <laughs> it's been on for about 40 minutes. Nice and bubbly. Wow, that's hot. Take a look at that. I think this is the kind of thing that you bring, you, you get ready ahead so that it can have a little bit of time just to simmer down because all that peach and all that fruit, the peach and the raspberry is just going to be like hot jam. That's jam, not anything else before you start making comments at the bottom of the video. Uh, we do have some ice cream to go with this, which I think is a really good uh, addition. It's under the table in the shade at the moment for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, that's our little uh, peach and raspberry crisp. Let you do Should a bit I... dishing up. Right, okay. The smell is fantastic. This is a really good dessert for a, a really hot day, <laughs> I have to say. This is just... Perfect weather. You don't want this on a cold, wet, wintry day. No, you want this on a really hot, steaming hot day. There we go. So, whilst you want the ice cream? Yeah, yeah. I'll pass you the ice cream. Let's do that. Thanks. So, whilst Rich is dishing up the ice cream, uh, all that's left for me to tell you is um, if you want the recipe for this dish, visit the website hayesgardenworld.co.uk it'll be in the blog um, if you want to know about the equipment we've used in the video the skillet the barbecue visit the uh, team here at the barbecue shop at Hayes Garden World I don't think we're going to try this on the camera because that this is ice very cream hot. needs no time to soften no there you go look at that oh I can't so, wait for about five minutes when that's cool enough that we can actually eat it but anyway there you go so all that's Enjoy. left for us to say is thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.